Hey there, YouTubers. Um, this is my walk around Hawthorne look. Check out my cool mask. I got it at uh, McMinimins. You've seen the episode, perhaps, where I end with Uncle Bill's visit and we go to Ringler's. I am into place-based education. I try to keep things anchored in a locale. And I encourage teachers who want to say they use my techniques to also do that. In other words, help locate your audience in place and time. Don't just keep it in the quote abstract. Like I talk about very abstract things, but I anchor it and that's a good balance. It's sort of a balance that I also seek to strike between say storytelling and very technical deep dive into nitty gritty in my lecture in, Sh in Chicago at O'Hare that time with PSF chair Steve Holden. We talked about the mix of storytelling, sort of history, and nitty gritty, right? And the need for a balance and a constant switching back and forth. So what you're seeing me scroll through is a little bit of a breakthrough on my end in that I'm escaping into another language for a little bit. By another language, I mean computer language. It's always been Python, Python around here. And it is continuing to be because this is walking my talk in terms of wanting a front burner and a back burner language. This is Sphere Packing with Julia, and we're doing the usual content where we do figure it, including polyhedral numbers, very simple programs. A lot of these are one-liners. Some of them are recursive. If you want them to be, I explore more than one algorithm for the same results. And we go over the basics, right? This is basic high school math. No longer so devoid of the sphere packing as in the 1900s, right? We've left the 1900s behind by a long shot. So we've got Snowman by Midhat Gazale, The Book of Numbers by Conway and Guy, and Synergetics by Buckminster Fuller as relevant readings. But of course, our audience probably by this time has a sense of context for these different works. They're not sort of the same as each other. We're kind of branching off. So where am I? I'm in Replit a lot of the time. So this is a Replit. And it was founded by, I've discovered, a Jordanian couple. So we've got Arabic speaking here. Good. I connect to Dr. Tag on that on Facebook. I, I don't know if she's got time for this kind of stuff. And you may remember, we're still talking comprehensivism. It's our dialogue with the East Coast. Wanderers did have their solstice party. And everything's been chugging along on my end, right? I'm taking a moment here to sort of defend Tulsi Gabbard, even though I'm not like a big fan of drones or anything. You probably saw that go by. Um, let's see, where is that at? Yeah. Like, she's in Africa now, and she's seeing the benefits of drone warfare from her angle as a medic and stuff. And she's really a threat at the moment to the Bidenistas, as I call them. So they're taking a moment to smack her down while they can, right? So that, that went on. Just trying to, uh, this is the David Pakman show. Just trying to um, give you a sense of where we're at, right? September, end of September 2021. People are still thinking in terms of, you know, Who's going to be president in 2024? It's kind of stuff. And we, on the other hand, because we are not that interested in theater of that kind, we have more important things to be thinking about. So we're looking at becoming competent sort of thinkers. And it's important to understand the tools of today's world. Forget about... 1900s and their pipeline fixations, all that garbage, right? Not that we're unhappy about Nord Stream 2, couldn't care less. There's already Nord Stream 1. 
They added capacity. You've got so many people making money by leeching off the fear that is generated by big projects, right? It's like, just let the Morlocks do their work. Shut up already, you Eloy. You superficial surface dwellers. That's an H.G. Wells story. We get into that in Martian math. Let me find Martian math for you. It's part of our way of packaging the Bucky Fuller philosophy, which extends American and or New England transcendentalism. So if you want to locate where we're at in the literature world, we are floating around in American literature. American literature. That's why it's very ironic that we don't have the schools picking up on all this stuff very quickly. Very slow people around here. Very slow. Molasses. But, you know, some of us are enjoying being in 2021. I know most people are still living in the 1800s. They're fighting the Scopes trial around here. Anyway, Civil War never ended. Anyway, Martian math is full of references to uh, science fiction, especially Orson Welles. And we talk also about Orson Welles as director because this curriculum kind of veers off into movies and studying of movies and watching lots of movies. Like I would assign Big Bang series and Silicon Valley for compare and contrast, right? When we're doing anthropology. I would suggest in my blog, in fact, that these would be good homework assignments just to compare and contrast. So I'll end with where I'm doing that. We are, that's back to storytelling. We are working on a good mix here. We don't want to just like learn Julia, learn Python. By the way, they're very similar. You already know Python, you're going to know Julia. It took a while though to get it installed on this ancient computer, which is, you know, you can tell from the background picture what computer operating system this is. It is Yosemite, right? Not Yosemite. Okay, Yosemite. Come, come into the view there. There you go. Is that true? Look under help. Is this really Yosemite? But I've never been to Yosemite, I don't think. About this Mac? Is that where I have to go? Come on, where do we check? Remember these Macs? I like this Mac, and I'm not about to just give it up. So this idea that I would always buy new hardware at the drop of a hat is not there. So I like to try to get Julia to work on this Yosemite or whatever it is. And I did. And I'm proud of myself because it seems like a lot of people have moved on and don't care to support these somewhat older machines. And uh, I don't like that. But hey, we got Julia running and Julia is now in a Jupyter Notebook. That's where the name Jupiter comes from originally, right? And I've got this viewable in Tehran, in Baghdad, wherever. You know, they, they do have internet there, so... If you want to watch what I'm up to with Replit or one of those things, I call Algebra City is another name for Baghdad for me, right? It's like that's a home of this stuff. Al Khwarizmi, right? Algorithm. It's not true that algorithm um, or that some some joke about Al Gore goes here. I'll, I'll leave it for you. Anyway. Um, Please uh, keep the interesting information coming in. I've had good times. Some of you have joined me on Replit. We're exploring a little more about what we can do in terms of walking my talk. Let me just show you quick as I sign out here how high school looks now, right? In case you're in high school, I know you're probably not getting anything like this. You're going to kind of one of those slow schools, the corporate schools. They call themselves public schools, but they don't teach much history, right? You don't learn the Bucky Fuller math at all. So don't tell me you're a public school. That's a joke. Total joke. Anyway, you can see how I've got closure going. Sequence is where we were. Sequence City. Mostly Python, though. Mostly Python and 
it's not all about just learning how to code. Remember the class proposal, or if you haven't seen the class proposal, it's actually been approved, but at one point it was a proposal. Um, <clears throat> the goal is to learn STEM more generally. Right, with the computer language helping us ratchet up or spiral, it's a, it's a ladder, it's a staircase, whatever. I'll show you the screenshots where I'm collecting this information for evaluation, right? So there's, I'm not the only teacher in this picture, obviously. Obviously, because I'm using everybody else's work, they're using my work. So I'm kind of doing the replit thing and seeing is that something we're going to use in multiple locations or well you know even one class is multiple locations because our model of course to learn this stuff is you need a serious nerd cave right you don't cram in shoulder to shoulder with your buds at your local high school for this kind of stuff maybe you do that for other reasons but we want you to have a nerd cave so that you can sort of have your tunes and your music and if you get distracted that is a problem but you know that's a problem you're going to have to learn to manage because the way of the future right when you have an office is there's nobody just standing over you this is a metaphor this is our steps our learning curve i should call this my learning curve i call it fence replacement uh, i think i should change the name to learning curve learning uh, What's happening? Must have gotten some uh, shortcut keys going. Somehow, shortcut keys, learning curve, have gotten in the way. So I'm just about to show you and sign off the <coughs> replit sort of stash I've, I'm building. It's not really um, devoted entirely to replit right but this is for teachers for yourself you can come here i'll put a link that's showing how we're taking quadres and concentric hierarchy and all the super basics ccp ivm octet trusts and you know building that uh through experience hands-on experience with the different languages and thanks to REPL, when I start a new project, it can be in Python, it can be in Julia. But we glue them together by doing the same sort of sphere, spack, sphere packing, sphere packing stuff, right? That is core to STEM, but also to PATH more and more. Like those who study Bucky Fuller and understand we're talking philosophy here, understand that it's not wrong or bad to have a geometric logic, right? Something visual, something you can consider as part of your imagination. I've used the term memory palace. However you want to talk about it, right? The octet truss is very much embedded in our philosophy, not just in our math. So that's path and stem if you've been following so this is what I mean by the IVM and so on, right? That's Joe Moore's art from a long time ago. And this whole page here, this is like decades old, right? We've been in this business for a long time. If you're not a part of it, if you're not even aware of it, you got a lot of catching up to do, assuming that you're interested, which you may not be. All right, I'm going to go back out and, and uh, be Darth Vader out in the world and uh have yourselves a good afternoon good evening and see you next week